<clears throat> Hello, uh, my name is Sam. Today I'm going to show you how to install links on a USB pen drive. Okay, uh, first thing you need to do is go to Internet Explorer. This is just Sam. Um, wait for this to load. Okay, here we go. <coughs> You uh, go to this link here. I'll post it in the side, but this is the link anyway. Just give it a couple of seconds to remember that. Okay. It's uh, pendrivelinks.com uh, forward slash all dash in dash one dash USB dash DSL. Uh, go on that website then. It shouldn't take too long to. Alright, when you get onto this website. <coughs> Ooh, sorry about that. When you get onto this website, uh, it installs small, a small, small dot. Um, small links that's driving Windows. Okay, yep, it does exactly what it says in here, but this is all pointless. This program they give you gives you the opportunity to download it anyway. Okay, don't 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 bother downloading this here. But don't just go down to these. Just go down to here. Okay, and then go straight onto number two. Press download. Okay. Uh, run. Run it again. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, uh, and then you press I agree, and then uh, you go down to DSL four four nine. Okay, and if you don't, well, you won't have it. I don't think you will. You press download ISO optional. Okay. Yep, and it tell you uh, it, it launches this box here. It say launch the download link. Let the download finish before moving to step two. Okay, you press yes. I'm gonna press no because I've already downloaded it. It takes quite a while. And then you uh, USB flash flash has been stuck in by the way, right at the start. Sorry about the wait. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna nothing's gonna be on this because it's gonna be report formatted. Make sure you tick this box here, otherwise it will not work. Okay, press install. Okay, we're back in five. Just wait a couple of minutes. Shouldn't be too long. Okay, there we go. Done. Okay, and press close. Close this up now, we don't need that anymore. Okay, then you go start computer and then you go, it will be under pen drive, they will have renamed it to pen drive, okay? Double click on that and then where it says DSL dash base, double click on that, press enter, okay, and in theory it should boot. Okay, I'm gonna pause it in the video because it will take quite a while to boot back. Two three minutes. Okay, and that uh, I've just loaded up Firefox. Uh, you can go on, you can surf the internet. You can do most things with this. Okay. Um. Uh, just to prove a point that it works. Google. I would recommend using a gigabyte memory stick, but if you have a 512, I have installed on a 512 first and it didn't work. Okay, just to prove a point that the internet works, unless it works, browsing and everything. <coughs> Sorry about that noise, it's my phone. Okay, Google, okay. Yep, happy. Search for God. Okay. Google search. Then go obscure one and then enter again and go on the first surf and there we go. Okay, there's God. Okay, 
when you want to shut down you simply close it it goes to die lock okay um, you guys go back into windows because you're using virtual machines really okay you can press what you do you press control alt and it leaves an empty area but don't let, you can't let go of control alt whilst you're doing this okay press control and alt Sorry, this is going uh, kind of. Sorry about this. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then you simply press the cross and it closes it down. Okay, and this is it. I've just done my pen drive. Okay, there's like some new keys there. Okay, uh, thank you for watching. Everybody, pop in the post and below. Thank you very much. Goodbye.